Hi YouTube FT here. This is a video about my 1911 Airsoft pistols. So we're going to start with this Wii 1911 Government A1. This is coming up to being 10 years old. This was one of the first Airsoft pistols I purchased. It originally had these plastic grips on it. And in fact they remained on it for many many years. It's just that recently I've been doing some upgrades and I decided to change the grips. The first grips I went for were these uh, wooden grips purchased off eBay and I thought it looked okay. Wanted to keep the old look on it. Then I purchased a Kinra Warrior uh, 1911 uh, which was a complete mess and it came with these grips and as the Wii 1911 that I've got has absolutely no trades on it whatsoever I didn't see anything wrong in having Springfield Armoury logos on the grips and uh, the checkers nice they fit nicely I quite like them the only marking on this 1911 is a tiny WE in a circle on the trigger guard and the 0.45 ACP on the outer barrel. These are the original magazines, original valves. It's a 10 years old and they work absolutely fine. I'll be honest, they've only had use for the first four years, five years of that 10 years. Uh, because after that I gave up Airsoft and uh, it's been a hanger queen basically, just sitting there. Looking pretty. A bit of wear and tear on it. Here you can see the pop points, the wear points. But it still functions perfectly. Now some people I've seen do a rattle test. I've got newer pistols that rattle far more than this one does. Doesn't lock back on an empty magazine. But I can forgive it that. Magazine's empty and there's nothing in the chamber. The only other thing I've changed on this, apart from the grips, is the bow bushing here on the front. It used to be grey, same as the uh, pistol itself. It was very flimsy and it was prone to bending at these points where it locks in. There's no gas in this magazine. I find it very reliable and back in the day, 10 years ago, they were criticised for being extremely heavy on gas usage. Well, I can fill this magazine, which is the original magazine, with gas, and I can get two lots of 16 off on it with it before I have to recharge it with gas. I do use a maintenance gas. I use an old Abbey 134A maintenance gas. I bought quite a few tins of that and I keep them as spares. I've noticed these days it's almost impossible to get and you have to get the 144A maintenance gas and I've no idea what the difference is between the two. But back in the day when I was using this and today I still maintain it using 134A maintenance gas by Abbey. So 
let's move on to the next 1911. This is a still a Wii 1911. It is exactly the same as my original 1911. Now this is supposed to be a brushed stainless steel. So it's not supposed to be shiny, but just a brushed look on it. Um, it also came with uh, what I call the typical Wii plastic grips. And as you can see, I've got quite a few of them because I've changed them all out. So this, I fitted these. I quite like the look, but it wasn't quite right. I even tried the Mad Moment grips, which again has something going for it, but it wasn't for me. And I ended up with these rather heavy, but rather wonderful, Chinese made solid aluminium pistol grips. The other thing I managed to find were these, um, they're almost like, they're not Allen keys, they're like star key chromed bolts to hold the grips in place and they really set it off I think. The other thing I've done is of course I've replaced the barrel bushing and I've added this compensator. Now this has writing on it but it's extremely hard to get onto the camera. It says Colts Mark IV Series 70 Government Model 0.45 Automatic Calibre. It has the little circle where the Wii stamp used to be on the trigger guard but there is no WE on it. And on the opposite side it says Colts government model. It's got a little F here and then a number E2013 0400187. I have no idea what that means. I'm guessing it might stand for European 2013 and then maybe a production number or something. I don't know. And it has 0.45 ACP in the outer barrel. This being a new pistol will of course lock back with an empty magazine. The magazine it comes with is also nice and shiny and I've got a spare one of these. And they are, for all intents and purpose, totally interchangeable with my original one from 10 years ago. Single sided safety, I should have said that about the other model, but it is, it's single sided safety. Let's cock it, safety up, won't fire. There's nothing to set it on this side. Palm safety works. As one would expect, when there's no pressure on it, you can't fire. Apply pressure to it, it fires. A bit of wobble there. Everything on the inside of this is the same as the other one, the other government model. So I expect this to last just as well. I think this has got some gas in it. So I can dry fire this and I have no problem in dry firing. It 
So basically these two are exactly the same pistol. Compensator added to this one, and obviously grip change. New barrel bushing added to this one, and grip change. Right, this is my next one. This is an Army Timber Warrior. When I purchased this, it was a complete wreck. Parts were broken, such as this thumb safety, the shaft that goes down to hold the palm safety in place had sheared off. There were pins missing, there were broken springs. Someone had tried to strip it of its colour paint job uh, to make it a chrome pistol and they'd made a right mess of it and it was very old and very knackered to be honest. So I spent quite a while doing this up. It's been through several reincarnations since I've been doing it, different colour schemes, different grips. Again I went through all the different types of grips that I could possibly use on it. It's had these ones, the ones that are on my current government, the Springfield Armoury ones are the ones it actually came with which was the only good thing about it. I thought I'd try and these ones on it as you've seen. I even thought oh these would look quite nice and I do not know what possessed me with those. Um, even to a point where the aluminium ones went on there but then I found these and I decided to get these ones and put it on which I think are very nice however I have found some Punisher ones some hex cut Punisher frame ones and they will be going on as soon as I get them so uh, almost everything on here is new some safeties new the takedown pins new, the triggers new, it's got a new compensator fitted at the front because the barrel bushing that came with it was broken so I took that opportunity to fit uh, quite a nice compensator. I had to get some new magazines for it so I managed to find these on eBay. This is the magazine it came with when I purchased it and this white line here is in fact a split right across the head. I stripped it down, it's got a dent here, the foot's missing, but I stripped it down, replaced the seals and it works fine. It looks atrocious but it works fine. Apart from all of that it's also got a new outer barrel. The other one was rubbed down and the brass was showing through it. As I've said before, I had a new hammer, everything works. And I think I can dry fire this as well. I've got some gas. If you can see this, it's got uh, Kimba on the slide here. It's got the rail, part of the frame. It's got Kimba Yonkers NY USA along here. It's got Warrior on this part. And as a project it was really good fun because everything had to be replaced. The nozzle loader, the pistons, you name it, it had to be replaced. Even the three-fingered spring that operates the hammer, this safety, had to be replaced. But there she is. And I'm quite happy with her. 
And then we come up to date basically because this is a 1911, it's a Wii 1911, uh, high capper K2. And it's pretty recently been added into my collection. I'll be honest, the reason I got this is because I used to have a high capper when I skirmished and I was going through the garage and I found this magazine and I thought, oh, what's that doing there? I can't, I don't have anything that this fits because I sold my high capper. That suddenly struck me, oh yes, it's for a high capper, I've got a magazine, let's buy another one and that means I've got a spare magazine and a high capper. And here she is. You can see she's a uh, skeleton slide here and here. Ambidextrous safety. Grip safety works fine. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this, it's brand spanking new. Markings, it's just got this W E W E Tech thing across the grips here. And then it's got wet stamped into the rubber part on this side. Something I will say about this is that the outer barrel is absolutely really thick compared to the other 1911s I've got. So I just want to show you that. Here's my A1. Let's see if we can get these up like that. Can you see how much thicker the outer barrel is on this one? Being we, of course, this is 11 millimeter threading here, uh, and I have adapters that will go over that, and it converts it to 14 millimeter counterclockwise for silencers and that type of thing. And we can have this little adapter here. Basically, goes over the end, and this is now 14 millimeter counterclockwise, which most uh, mock suppressors are. So I can chuck one on the end of it should I wish to. Well, I've got some coming. I might take some videos of that. I should have said the others weren't threaded. My government models, the old uh, A1 model. Uh, how does it sound? Dry fired? I think I've got some gas in the magazines. Yeah. Don't mind doing this a few times. There we go. Here's a little something for you uh, cosplayers. This revolver I purchased from eBay without doing all the checks I should have done. And this is what I ended up with. <laughs> it is tiny. I actually thought when I purchased this that I was getting a full size model. But alas, it was not to be. Uh, nothing works on it. This spins round. This spins round and it fires a laser when you pull the trigger. I don't know if you can see it there. Better if I turn the lights out. Laser here, so ah, better my hand. Ah. Uh, so I have no idea why I've appended that to the end of this video. I suppose it's a lesson learnt. Check your dimensions before you purchase anything. <laughs> uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Stay safe, and I'll see you on another video.